Erin. I'm an instructor at Alkaline Studios, and we're going to do a five-minute cardio burst today. I have the other Erin with me here, who's going to help us along. So we're going to start with our feet right underneath our hip bones, and we're going to do a side lunge, and then into a parallel squat with a heel lift, and we'll side lunge on the other side and end in that parallel squat. So you're going to step your left foot out wide, make sure your left toes stay straight forward. You're going to come into that side lunge, and then come up into the center. And we're going to spend a minute here. You're on the clock. Make sure you step your left foot out in the same place every time and you want your left knee to be tracking straight forward over your second and third toe on your left foot and that right leg stays perfectly straight. And you're bringing your arms up overhead that's really going to help get the heart rate up. So this is a five minute cardio burst so we really want to get those heart rates up. You're probably feeling it already Erin. Yes. <laughs> so you can take this at your own pace. Reaching your arms far back behind you, maybe you engage through the triceps of it as you reach long behind you, and then step it up. You reach and step it up. Abdominals staying engaged, chest stays open, and neck stays long. You're staying in your neutral spine as you come into that side lunge. You have just 12 seconds left, and then we're gonna transition into that parallel squat with the heel lift. You have six, it's five, four, three, Two, bring the left ankle underneath your hips. You're going to sit back into the squat and then lift your heels up, reach to the ceiling. Second minute here, you reach back. Heels go down to the floor, power them down, send your weight back, seat goes back, staying in neutral spine. And remember that your neck is part of your spine, so you wanna keep the back of your neck nice and long towards the ceiling. And again, taking your arms up overhead gives you that heart rate boost. If you need to kind of back off a bit, you can always take your hands to hips or prayer. You got it, Erin. Make sure you lift your heels up that your balls, they're staying right behind the balls of your feet and you're not coming all the way forward onto the toes. This is gonna help strengthen you through the lower leg, through the ankles, and those muscles through your feet that are so important to hold us up all day long. You have 20 more seconds here and then we need to do the right leg side lunges. You're almost there, you've got it. Don't forget to breathe, don't forget to smile. You have 12 seconds, last 10. You got it, push it to the end. You have eight, seven, go six, five, four, three, two, you're halfway through this burst. Set your heels down, step your right leg out, and then come back into the second. Center, out, and reach it up. Step back, and reach out. Right knee tracking right over your right toes and planting that foot down nice and firm onto the floor. Make sure you're not rolling in or out on the edges of your feet. You wanna be nice and stable, setting your whole foot down. Send your seat back far behind you. Reach your fingertips, engage through the back of the arms. You got it. Everyone's staying strong. Everyone's staying with their breathing, with your alignment. You're halfway through, you have 30 seconds left and then we're gonna finish in that parallel squat. Don't be afraid to push it. <laughs> Don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. <laughs> Just 15 seconds and then you're planting your right ankle right back under your hip. You have eight seconds to go, you're almost there. Yes, you have five, it's four, three, two, Take your ankles under your hip bones. You sit back and reach it up. It's back and reach. Keeping the chest nice and open. That's why I like that reach behind you. It's also helping open through the chest that spends so much time rounded forward throughout our day. Yes, reach it back. Reach it up, back and up. Here's another place where a knee alignment is important. So just like on that side lunge where your knees were tracking straight forward, same thing here with your squat. You wanna make sure your knees aren't coming in to meet each other. They're moving straight forward. Engage through the outer thighs as you sit back and reach it up. You sit back and reach. You have 30 seconds left and you are done with this burst. Aaron's gonna make it, you're gonna make it too. Push it here to the end, reach back, lift up. You reach, I lift, last 20. You got it, it's down, it's up. You're almost there, 15 seconds left to go. Reach and lift it up. You reach and lift, last eight, it's seven. Go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, Erin, great job there at home. Thanks for joining us for this upline cardio burst.